chapter 3, lesson 4 is subtraction with regrouping in the hundreds, tens, and ones, which means more stress. So again, parents, please do not pressure your kids. Please allow them to enjoy. If they're not ready to move on, please give them more problems and exercises so that they will be more versed with a lesson prior to this. Okay, so again, reminder, we need to teach our kids the pairs. Nine and one, eight and two, seven and three, six and four, five and five. Okay, so in this section, there's no more, in this section, there's no more mental subtraction. So we will do computational subtraction. We are on page 55. Okay, so if we look at this, we subtract nine from two, cannot be. So we need to borrow and regroup. Okay, so again, the strategy is to start with nine. We need one more to get to 10. And we need another two to get to 12. So that makes it three. Okay, I'm gonna take this. So here, we subtract seven from two, cannot be. So we, again, borrow and regroup. Okay, one thing that I would suggest is don't get lazy and put the one in front. When you re-regroup, put it on top. So which means this is now 12 minus seven. So again, we need a three to get to 10 and another two to get to 12, which makes this five. So if you want to, you can write three and two, that makes it five. Okay, and finally four minus three is one. Here we cannot subtract eight from three. So we need to borrow and regroup. Okay, so again, we need to get to 13. So to get to 13, we need two plus three. So two to get to 10 plus three to get to 13, which makes it five. Okay, cannot subtract nine from six. So since we cannot subtract, we need to borrow and regroup. Okay, so which means this is 16, take away nine. So again, what we wanna do is start with nine. We need one more to get to 10, but we need to get to 16. So that means that's one plus six is seven. So I'm gonna put the seven here. So which means this is four. So parents, please remember, if you want to help your kids, you need to be confident in what you're doing. If you need to practice before teaching your kids, it's okay. If this is something new to you, then you need to make sure to practice more. So again, there are other problems in the book that you can solve. Okay, so I suggest that while your kids are solving, you also partake and try to solve. All of these have answer keys at the end of all the videos that we will provide to you. So you have that as an additional tool. That concludes chapter three, lesson four. See you in the next lesson.